that egg lay command grab that just adds free damage to you. But guys, right oh. now we are getting another winner's quarterfinal set. It is going to be Dark Falcon, Revenant Zone versus Rat King. And yes, uh, this is going to be... Okay, l let's real quick talk about this. This is a, such a hard matchup for Steve because they are going to have such a difficult time getting the space uh, necessary in order to start mining. Yeah, just all the projectiles are in your face constantly. You see how much Dark Falcon is using that act or using that cross? That's on purpose. He's throwing it out and stopping you from being able to mine at all. And, you know, you see how well it works, but you see how well Rat King and Steve are at getting that combo pressure when they need it. Just a few up tilts and that's 63. Maybe a little bit more. 76. What else? What, what else is going to hurt? Yeah. But, you know, when Dark Falcon is down, they come back with a vengeance. But look at Rat King you know, racking up this damage a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, all right. The double hit of the cross going to put a little bit of extra pressure on... This is gonna be a slobber knocker of a set. I'm hyped for this. <laughs> I'm enjoying yeah. this. Oh, and the just, raw ooh. up smash. Barrichter is the heavy boy. Yeah. I mean, you can't say uh, you can't take down Dracula without having a little bit of muscle, right? True, true. You gotta toss that whip around. You gotta be, you know, you know. He's probably got a really good throwing arm, considering how often he, he whips stuff at the opponent. Yeah. Not, I mean, you know, you use a throwing motion to to throw your whip out. You use a throwing motion to toss those axes and everything. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that axe hitting us below the ledge too in order to get that uh, Rat King in the air. And I mean, to go back onto the thing about how strong Richter is canonically, <laughs> it really makes you wonder why he doesn't just kind of like punch in close ranges, you know? Like if you're that yeah. strong, you, you can probably like punch your opponent and do at least 20%. Like, like think about it. You Think about the boxing options that Richter could have, but instead he just only uses the chain. Honestly, I respect that. He's a member of the chain gang. Heck yeah, man. Yes, sir. Uh, look, the thing is, a craftsman likes to rely on their tools. And, yes, uh, you know, no do. one does that better than Richter. That dash attack almost killed mm -hmm. with Diamond. But it didn't. That was a really good DI from Dark Falcon. Oh, oh. The, yeah. The uh, the side B going to come out and catch that jump. And uh, trying to, it. you know, stall out the invincibility frames. Rat King hangs out off stage and is able to do it. Uh, but this mm -hmm. is Diamond on deck right now. Oh, no. No, he's good. He's good. Okay, he's I got jump. scared. I uh -oh. ask you, you can't blame oh. me, right? Oh. oh no, yeah, but he didn't save his jump that time. Man, That's he did I, I respect him. he didn't want to get spiked, but he still got hit by it, man. Mm hmm Yeah, well. no. Woo! 46% off of that one interaction. 65. The diamond is still out, ladies and gentlemen. He has one in the back pocket too. Even if the stock oh, goes, God. there's no way he doesn't get diamond out for the last one. Oh, but what a catch. He he's he recognizes the uh block placement and is able to that pressure, but it was all iframed away. Holy crap, these guys are going yeah. off on each other. This is such a good set right now, and it's even gr and it gets even better when you consider that Dark Falcon is the first seed of the tournament, and that Rat King was seeded, seeded to lose his round one and is now in round three minimum, and looking like he will take Ooh. the game almost. Look at this lead. Rat King is playing out of his mind, constantly just using the tools that he needs wow. to back and forth. Minecart will do it in, and Dark Falcon will fall. You can beat Dracula, but I guess you can't beat a, a man who's apparently canonically six feet tall. That was great. Amazing stuff from Rat King earning that game number one. Don't look me in the eye. I'll kill you. Oh my God. He killed him from the other side of the stage, too. I don't know if Dark yeah. Falcon wasn't ready for it, the, the DI on this. Maybe he uh, maybe he air dodged a little early or something. Dude, I that was, that was quite an early kill. Yeah, yeah. that was super early. You just kind of, yeah. you just kind of saw. Um, I, I, you also kind of saw in that last interaction just the genius within Rat King's play. He realizes the game plan that Richter or that Dark Falcon had in mind. As you saw in that first stock, uh, it was Rat King getting punished and dying for using that minecart. But by the third one, he baited him out. Realized like, okay, I'm gonna put the block here. He's thinking I'm gonna go here, so I'm gonna go above, and then I'm gonna minecart into him while he's swinging below me. And because of that, I'm gonna get the stock. I'm gonna get the game. Like here, look at this. Once he gets over to the other side, you'll see. Uh, you'll see quite that. Or wait, no, this is a different interaction. This was yeah, when Dark Falcon that was just great sniped pressure. him out the air. Yeah, that was. It was such good pressure. He was able to like keep him cornered. And the thing about Steve is Steve can actually hang out off stage a little bit longer because of blocks. Yeah. So you know, ledge trapping isn't quite as effective all the time. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean, you know, Melly caught him sleeping and was able to get that get that kill with the uh, angled up forward air.
Oh, and there you see, there it is. He realized, okay, he's going to want to aim lower for me, so I'm going to go higher, and I'm going to ram right into him. And that's what he did. Amazing stuff from Rat King. Very well earned game number one. Absolutely, man. That's good stuff. Rat King is going to be a potent potent threat later on tonight. Like, uh, you know, even win or lose this set, I mean, if, if they win, they have to go play against Slade. If they lose, they're going to be in the loser's bracket, but they're going to they're gonna have a chance to uh, just run through it, honestly. The same with both these yeah. guys. I mean, I don't want to see either of these guys lose. I want to see these guys in grants, but, yeah. you know... Um, that can't can't be can't happen. Uh, just bracket magic for you. Um, right well, now, I mean, rest, rest of the chance. brackets catching up. We'll give you a little bit of a bracket update. Um, right now, genocide is waiting in winners winners quarterfinals, and uh, Coltman was able to two zero moot. And right now, Coltman is playing Heretta. Winner of that will play genocide on stream. Um, and Z minus the Falco uh, storm their way into winners quarterfinals, and they will be playing big. E, 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 e or whatever versus uh the ralphie who has gone random all tournament i respect that so much yeah no you you saw that they did the random ditto jj tails and him did the random ditto round one yeah that's based i you love to see that man you love to see that yeah so especially right now because it's, it's like, like oh sorry go ahead oh no worries, no worries. especially because yeah. it's like it's round one so you know you're not disrespecting anyone by random doing because right. like, you didn't beat anyone to get there. You didn't like no one lost you at that point. So you just feel okay doing it. So it's it's just a good time. So my yeah my crowning achievement in my career I think was oh. uh, I I beat a I beat a banjo who was trying to camp me out uh, like the whole set during Smash World Tour. Like okay. they took five minutes in between games. Just to make me salty. Plus, they play banjo, so they wow. were just camping and throwing out eggs the whole time. Um, and and I beat them. <laughs> and then I DQ'd out so I could go to a local. <laughs> goat. Goat. Honestly, that's goaded. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got it, man. That's goaded stuff right there. <laughs> they DM'd me on Discord oh, after. They were like, what the hell? <laughs> That's good. Honest. Like it, it's like okay, I I can respect someone who like you know they want to camp you out with you know to zone yeah, you with banjo. Camping's viable. I, five I, minutes but... in between, that's too much. Like what? Like what? No, yeah, no, that's, too much. that's too much. Like just pick your stage. Come on, brother. Like yeah. get get with it. Yeah. My uh anyway. my achievement, my crowning achievement is something like that, except on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. This isn't like uh, th this is just something that I'm very proud of, and it's like my magnum opus. Um, I was playing against uh, some Kirby player in a, a streamer's arena. It was like 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. and I was really bored. Uh, so the, the guy ended up picking Big Battlefield. And I was on my link, right? So I, I just kind of decided, you know what? It's 2 a.m. I don't want to go to sleep. Circle camped him for seven <laughs> minutes straight. Seven Dude, minutes. Straight. Kirby cannot deal with that. You cruel son of a bitch. He can't. He can't. I just. I just like. Uh, I just <laughs> circle camped him the whole time. Taunted from top platforms. It was a great experience, and uh, the, and the streamer didn't kick great. you. He didn't kick me. He wasn't watching. Like what's it called? He was one of the. He was like on his phone. Like, oh yeah. And he's like, man, this match is taking forever. And he looks <laughs> up and he's like, thirty seconds left. And then. After I won, he's like, "Bro, you have no chill. You're so good. Let me play you." And then I think I just kind of, I just kind of left at that point because I didn't want, I didn't want to have to do that again. But that was, uh, that that's my personal magnum opus, and I, I'm proud of it. Dude, that's so, yeah. so good. <laughs> so right now we're, I think we're just trying to figure out some Smash GG technical difficulties. I think that's why it's taking so long. Right, here we go. Game Perfect two. Perfect timing. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Hell yeah. Um, so this is gonna be Dark Falcon's counter pick. I'm thinking like uh, Town City, yeah. Look at me! Do I know my teammate or do I know my teammate? You know your teammate, man. You know your teammate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yo, Evan. Evan MX, thanks for the follow, brother. Welcome, boy. Welcome, brother. Welcome, brother. Remember, Matcherino, fifty per fifty cents, completely free. But yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah. But no, anyway, right back now, to the match. <laughs> uh, so it's there's some camping up. happening. Dark Falcon is uh is, is keeping Rat King in the corner, but Rat King is very mm -hmm. content to just harvest materials and uh, throw out minecart. Yeah, but, just you know, know realizing. <laughs> like what what's surprising about that? King oh. Khalil! Khalil, let's go! Thanks for the go. follow, my guy. 
Welcome, Khalil. Welcome. But yeah, right now, I mean, Rad King's making it very difficult for Dark Falcon to approach. And normally, in these matches, you don't see Dark Falcon approaching, but Rad King just showing how potent he is at forcing approaches. Just continuing to get his resources over and over again. Now, Minecart getting punished. Dark Falcon yeah. getting a lot better at, at it. You can see it's starting to work out less and less for Rad King. Yeah, but here's the thing. This is, uh, like, pretty much no Iron Steve because he keeps throwing out the... Oh, dude, if he went for that uppy, if he let that rip, that might have been it. But he is in the corner, and look, at the thing about uh, Town and City is that those horizontal blast zones are really freaking close um, to the edge of the stage. So um, if Rat King wants to mess around and hang out off stage, he could get really hard punished uh, with uh, an, uh, an angled up forward air or back air. Mm. And you can see Melly, or excuse me, Dark Falcon, just kind of waiting for his opportunity to do that, just still poking away at Rat King as Rat King mines. Just waiting for his opportunity, you know, just to kill him at that early percent. Might as well be now, if you will. And oh, Axe going to connect, but yeah. not quite. Going it's to a high kill. ceiling on this stage. Yeah. Oh, another one. That one's going to kill him. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, Critical Hit Axe in Minecraft does um, like a, over 10 damage. It's insane. Um, I don't think. I, it's, a, it's, a bit, it's a bit more than. In, it's, it's a little bit more in this game, I think. Yeah, it does like 17, it's it's broken. I don't think Enderman's ready for that. Enderman only has 40 health in Minecraft. Yeah. She, oh, well, only 40, but yeah, she's yeah. Okay, but now this is Dark Falcon with a lead, and when my man is in the lead, he really, he, you Wait. you give him an inch, he takes a mile. Look at that's the, the thing percent. With Dark Falcon. Look at the percent, oh, that's hilarious. It's beautiful. Oh. oh. It, was, it was perfect. It was true 69, it too. It was literally true 69. He was at 69.0. Uh oh, okay, we saw it. Oh, he caught him sleeping. Dude, could you imagine if that cross came just a fraction of a second earlier before the strong hitbox came out? That would have been such um... a clutch. Oh, is he going under? Yo, he did the town and city jump. Oh my god. He's insane. But yeah, no, Rat King. It, Rat King, man, like you said, you give Dark Falcon an inch, the mile is going to be taken, and he's getting a lot of mileage. Ah, that's what I did there. Yeah. Off of this stock, not allowing Rat King any way to get in. You know, that's the thing about Steve. He is an incredible defensive character. He's got minecart, he's got up tilt, he's got block. But when yeah. he has to approach with that literal zero aerial drift, zero run speed, zero options to get in, this is what happens. And this is why Dark Falcon is so ahead right now, because Rat King cannot approach for his life. I think that the story of, of the uh, tournament so far tonight, and correct me, correct me if you disagree, um, mm -hmm. but it's definitely been uh, who's on the defensive if if they're on the defensive they're probably winning yeah yeah no i i definitely agree like we saw the defensive play with slade you saw well, well even with racking a little bit and then game one yeah but yeah no i i agree with you on that one racking uh got game one because he was being defensive was staying in that corner and now you see that it's dark falcon getting that lead because he is playing defensively i mean that's just kind of uh oh, look you know, at that the game that we play and more power to it yeah the thing about the thing that i think determines a good belmont versus uh, an average belmont is yeah. their ability to connect off of return cross yeah like yeah we we saw we, we've seen uh melee do it tonight um mm -hmm. melee's dark falcon by the way he i think he's trying to transition tags but um he's, he's having a hard time especially gear or whatever um so he can go by both but um i i personally was able to commentate t3 dom uh in a socal tournament and mm. the way they won the tournament was like F tilt into returning cross into um, up smash at like yeah. 40 percent. It was insane. That's a bit dumb. Yeah, it was it was so sick. So oh no, the TNT. He was... <laughs> Why would you stand next to it? Well, uh, that's fair way for the game to end. Yeah, I, 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 I guess. I, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let, let's let's get another view on that. Uh, you see yeah. the TNT activated. And Rat King just oh, jump walks into it. Into it. Oh. Just walks into it. What? Dead. All right. Oh. Well, uh, that's a that's a yikes from me, Chief. He was shielding it. I. Well, and he saw. He's staring at it. And oh he walks God! Away and boom. <laughs> Enderman, no, get out of there, no, Enderman. Uh, I want to see that in slow motion again. Like, look, I want I want to see the thought process a little bit. Yeah, like, all right, no, so no, look. No. All right, the cross hits it, and he's gonna like, okay. Oh no, the. Uh, all right, I gotta jump in. Uh, I don't have any iron. Oh no! Oh, oh no! I gotta get no. out of here. Uh, Ah. Snake! 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 Dun dun dun! Dun dun yeah. dun!
Can't teleport in this game, Enderman. That's tough. Yeah, that that's yeah. what Enderman tried to do. He tried to, to <laughs> slash TP away. So like teleport he tried away. To... That's why he looked at the TNT for so long. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at this. The, look at this pressure. Like with the offstage stuff. I, I, yeah, catches him below the ledge, and he's able to get that off of the uh, the axe. Oh man, Melly. When Melly is on, Melly, they're few better. Mm -hmm. There are. But he has Melly. a cut above. Melly is well on his way to becoming the uh, the best Belmont in Tri-State area. But Rat King yeah. looking to put an end to it here in Game 3. Going right back to PS2. And Rat mm -hmm. King won on this stage a little bit earlier. Yes. So, you know, th it, it, that's worth keeping in mind uh, that Rat King likes the stage. Um, yes. But right now, just going on the offensive is Dark Falcon. Throwing out these uh, crosses, getting the combos into them. And just, yes. you know, all, already pinning Rat King in the corner. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm kind of noticing about Melly or about Dark Falcon's game plan that we saw from game number one to game number two and why it was so different. It's because Dark Falcon realized I can't set up my wall against this guy at the start. I have to go in and put on that pressure and be aggressive so that I can win. And then in the in and then in the end, once I have that lead, then I play passive. Then I put up my wall, try to snipe you away from your blocks, just anti-air minecart, whatever. But until then, I'm going to do this until I have the stock lead. And you can see he's looking for it very hard. 154% racked on to only set 27 and now the stock. That is yeah. Dark Falcon, and that is how good he is at limiting every option you have. Yeah, and like this pressure uh, from Dark Falcon as well is making it impossible for Rat King to mine at all. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big one too, is because once you once Steve doesn't have the ability to mine, that's his whole neutral plan. Well, not his whole, but a big, big part of his neutral plan just going away. Steve has really good moves, but because you have to mine for them to be accessible, it becomes really difficult when you can't do that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Dark Falcon's actually doing a good job as well of uh, passing through these blocks. Um, he lapped them. Yeah, he lapped them. Uh, and dude... I've never seen a Belmont throw so hard. Yo, Kerbzetsu, thank you for the follow, my guy. Welcome, Welcome to the party. Buddy. Stay a while. Oh, and the oh, down smash. My. Get a little charge on it. Yeah, oh that's dead God. in 123. My. Dark Falcon is killing this demon right now. Oh, my God. The Rat King is looking like he's going to be dethroned right now. Look at how hard Dark Falcon is just applying this pressure. And now, you know, so slowly Rat King kind of getting out of the corner only for him to be put back in it. Just kidding. That's commentator's oh, curse. And whoa. that's Dark Falcon mixing in the down air, not really getting too much. Oh, okay. Rat King okay. is not having any of it. Okay. Oh, my yeah. Lord. Yeah, no, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Dark Falcon will get the set two to one, making the adjustments, making the game plan. And then oh, in the end, combo. Rat King just... Cross, return cross, down air. Rat King... Uh, Oh my god, it is insane how quick Rat King just was like, I'm so done. Yeah, missed miss the F smash. You know what? I I can't. He, you know, secedes to his don't opponent. Blame him. I don't blame don't, him. I, res I respect it. No. Yeah. Yeah, people think it's cowardice. I, I disagree. He's like, you know, I'm outmatched here. Congratulations, you, you take the win. Uh, there's, there's something honorable in uh, in SDing when you're done. So, no. Rat King put on a hell of a set regardless. Yeah. As, uh, that as, game one, that showed a lot of, of promise for this young man, young individual. I, I don't know. <laughs> for this rat, for this young king of the rats. But nah, man. Yeah. You saw, I mean, in the end, Dark Falcon is Dark Falcon. He's sponsored by your org for a reason, and he knows how to put on that damage and get that down smash as well. That was another big Absolutely. thing as to why Dark Falcon uh, got so many kills is because at this ledge option, you can see Rat King had no idea what to do. So much to the point that when he was on ledge, he said, nah, never mind. And then just 